frugal. Frugal means a, a cloud of words which goes around frugal is all those things which have been put. Solutions, cheaply, several production and uh, profit, innovation, appropriate, university, finance, recently, durability, complexity. All these things are words. Engineering, all these things are word which are a cloud of words which grow around frugal. So you can see here frugal, innovation, durable, features, non-essential, margin, durability. All these things are part of it. So by and large, frugal is leading towards innovation. There is a big difference between invention and innovation. Invention means you try to develop something new of its kind, which nobody else has done it. And you don't bother about its sales component. When you talk about innovation, you always try to take an idea. This idea need not be new, but there is a customer to buy your idea. So that is what is innovation. So when we talk about frugal innovation, these are the three definitions which are predominantly going around. So frugal innovation is characterized by low price, compact design, uh, use limited raw material, try to reuse the existing component, ease of use and use of cutting edge technology to achieve lower cost is product oriented frugal innovation. Trying to produce, say for example, if you try to buy a, a front screwdriver, so you will have 20 different screwdrivers uh, heads which are there. But in India, hardly we use five. So what is the point of having all other things when only five can be of use? Now try to produce five front screwdrivers and try to reduce the cost so that you can attract more customers. So the other thing is market orientation, frugal innovation. Frugal innovation refers to those innovative products and services which are developed under conditions of resource constraint. For example, can you try to develop uh, a bed sheet which is used in the hospitals less than 20 rupees? See, now the bed sheet, whatever is there in the hospitals, they, uh, they cannot be washed. Winter comes, it cannot be washed. And uh, uh, in ICUs and in, uh, in uh, OPDs, you'll see a lot of blood strains happening in the bed sheet. So they cannot sustain a bed sheet, so they put a rexin. But when they put a rexin, you should understand it is washable, but these bacteria also can happily sit there and it can be contagious. So can you develop a product where in which it is like a bed sheet and which is not more than 20 rupees, not more than 30 rupees. So it's like a tissue paper, what you put in the marriage hall tables. So something like that, but it has to be put on a bed. See the marriage hall uh, table, whatever you put up sheet, so the sheet, if you try to, if you an object sits there, if it moves left and right, it gets stored. So, but you should uh, try to develop one. So that is market oriented with resource constraint. Okay, for example, during COVID, we were all uh, forced and we all started enjoying online classes. So online classes happened very successful and it could reach more people. It was working on with a resource constraint um, environment. Then criteria oriented is, Innovation are frugal if they simultaneously meet the criteria of substantial cost reduction, concentration on core functionality and optimize performance level. See, there are people who work very hard all through the night they study and but in the next day examination they perform well and they get only 60 or 70 marks. There are few people who are extremely smart who can know how to prepare only for the examination and they do a smart work, try to get 90 marks. So what they do is they exactly concentrate on the marks, the subject, the way the teacher taught, and what are all the key points. So those things are concentration. Like that, you should always have a concentration on your core functionality. What is the true thing of, a, of, the, of the product? For example, let's go back to the smartphone. When you look at a smartphone, when this smartphone came into the market, it was all a mobile phone, where in which it was like a cordless phone. It was predominantly used for something called as hello, hello. But today we have moved very far off and hello, hello is missing. We use our mobile phones for communication like WhatsApp, uh, the tweet, Facebook, then SMS, 
then we use it for watching movies then we use it for taking camera shots we try to use uh, for uh, app looking for status maintaining we also look for financial transactions otps come all these things we do and slowly 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 if you ask how much do you use hello hello in your mobile phone it has come down drastically so now what is the function of a mobile phone they say all other things and along with that hello hello that means to say speaking so now look at the core competence concentrate on it and then try to get the best out of it in a cost reduction manner so that is what is the criteria for frugal so what is frugal engineering now frugal engineering is the process of reducing the complexity and the cost of a good and it is produce and its production so try to reduce whatever it is not required try to only take what is required for its functionality use that and try to produce it at an economical price is what is engineering is everything should be made as simple as possible but not simpler not simpler who is this great gentleman i know everybody knew him so this great gentleman said try to make life as simple as possible but it should not be very very simpler so why frugal engineering today we talk more is lack of manufacturing resources we have been exhaustively extracting um, petrol diesel oil we have been extracting it after some point of time it all gets into null so when it goes to that level so you see lot of industries are allied with petroleum let it be a, a, a oil cream what you apply let it be a gel what you use let it be a wax what you use let it be um, a polymer product what is edible everywhere it starts from petroleum products so if tomorrow oil is decided that it becomes zero so you will see so many things will impact in life where it is you can't live without it so these resource is getting reduced so once these resources are getting reduced you start looking forward how do i optimally use it suppose if i have a shower in my house and i say geyser is attached to it my son goes inside he opens the shower exhaustively takes bath for 15 many minutes and then comes out happily saying that he enjoyed the hot water bath vice versa if i say boss you have to take bath no problem here is a bucket of hot water please take bath with it so now what has happened whatever he enjoyed now he is going to do the same with one bucket of water which is from 15 which is only 15 liters so he has reduced his uh, 100 liter consumption to 15 liter consumption look at it just like that he has reduced like that you can if you have manufacturing uh, resources which are leaking so you should always look for frugal need for of clients with resource deficit functional appro functional appropriateness for the environment try to develop whatever you develop such that the environment is getting benefited so today what is happening is when we try to talk about uh, environment we have not in engineering we have never thought about environment at all environment is something which is missing and we we just went left and right harassing mother nature we have developed so much of polymer products these polymer polymer products are i are just around the earth which can never be discarded when at one point of time we were talking about engineering we were only talking about products we forgot the word sustainability but today the word sustainability is coming up in a big way so it is functional appropriateness for the environment has to be thought of for example we have plastic plates can these plastic plates replaced by paper plates can this paper plates replaced by dorna patta plate and where do you get this dorna dorna in chatisgarh is, is very freely available in the forest can we do that okay so that's what is functional appropriateness for the environment then lack of institutional infrastructure for supply and distribution during covid lot of farmers became uh, became bankrupt and they lost all their money because they produced a lot but because of covid they could not transport moment they could not transport there was a huge hindrance between the supply and distribution so the supply chain was very badly hit so because of that uh, they lost all the money so lack of institutional infrastructure for supply and distribution also leads to frugal engineering that's why mahatma gandhi said try to produce whatever you have within the resources available to you 
So that's what there is a big innovative, there is a big scheme which is run by DST to develop construction or buildings with the locally available resources. So that's one thing which is very much talked about. So this is where you try to push for frugal engineering. This, the current government has a lot of initiatives towards frugal engineering. Digitizing the complete office, government office is part of frugal engineering. Though you might say transparency and other things, but they have introduced where in which they reduce the, uh, the paper consumption. They have reduced the, uh, the uh, time which is wasted on digging out for old papers. Everything is digitized. One click of a button, you try to get as many informations as possible. So the five principles that guide for frugal innovation are, one, do more with less. Try to do more with less available. Try to be keep as simple as possible. Think and act flexible. So that means to say, don't keep fixing yourself to one fine small idea and keep uh, talking about that alone. Be as flexible as possible, such that you can try to do many things, okay? Think and act flexibly. Then seek opportunities in adversity. For example, when there is a big scarcity of all the supply during COVID, we still drive our family, drive our life very happily with all the family members, with limited opportunity and resources. We could not go out of our house, but we started cooking with whatever was available in the kitchen. We started learning other things. We started adding new skills. So it's all seek opportunities in adversity. Follow your heart, follow your passion. This is what is a Trump word for all you innovators. Follow your heart. So these are the five big principles for frugal innovation. So one is do more with less. Next is keep it as simple as possible, the design. Third one is think and act flexible. The fourth one is seek opportunity in adverse. And the fifth one is follow your heart, follow your heart, okay? So you look at it, this is an ambulance, which is mobile. And this ambulance can go to all streets and cities uh, where there is no restriction for this vehicle to travel on a hilly terrain or on any place. It has all the hospital items which are there, like a PHC. It can give delivery and the doctor rides it and he goes to any place and he takes care of the situation. So this is a frugal innovation. Look at it. There is a, see here, you have only a very scarce water. And uh, so the water has to flow in a very small quantity. So look at it. He has taken a five liter bottle. This five liter bottle is uh, is now uh, is filled with water and it is hung in this system. So all he has to do is he has to put a stick below it to increase the taper such that he can control the flow. So by doing so, what he has done is so many people can wash their hands within five liters. So this is again a frugal innovation. And this has happened in Africa because this country had a lot of uh, scarcity uh, or adverse opportunity was there. So uh, people uh, try to live with it in a big way. Look at this gentleman and his friend. So this gentleman and his friend developed a complete boat through which they can use it for, uh, uh, for driving across the river uh, using only pulpit water bottles. So this is again a frugal innovation. Rather than things getting wasted, I did not use a new material for making it. I used what was existing. I connected all and then I have made a boat. This is a frugal innovation. This is again a frugal innovation. A computer is working. The computer is working in such a way such that you try to rock or you try to crank the, uh, the key uh, and try to energize the battery. And such one is used for, for operating the computer. So this is a breakthrough. I don't know how many of you realize if you stay in a place where there is no electricity for hours together, you will not be even able to charge your batteries. I, I stay in IIT. Across to IIT, there is an NSI, National Sugar Institute. So, uh, and, uh, NSI, yeah, National Sugar Institute. So, in this institute, people used to, I'm talking about 15, 20 years back, people used to stay there uh, where there will be electricity power cut. They used to get two hours a day electricity. Within that, they have to charge their mobile phones, they have to do grinding in their house, they have to, have to do cooking, their refrigerators have to be up, their UPS have to be up. Everything has to be done in the two, three hours. 
So it was people were very frugal. People were very agile. They used to do many things within the two hours. Very efficient. So this is a frugal innovation. So next is frugal innovation in socio-economical uh, concerns. You can see here. This is a person where in which he tries to commute on top of a camel, and uh, th there he has kept a refrigerator or something which is activated by solar. Okay, so this is a bike uh, where in which it has, it has been attached with a three seater, like your Shole movie. And here in this attachment, he has get the entire house. So this is innovation. Look at it. This is a pump which is used uh, in the agricultural farm. A person has integrated with a bullock cart vehicle and then he has attached a steering to it. So now this becomes a tractor uh, or this becomes a vehicle through which people sit in the back and then travel. So this is a frugal innovation. This uh, Dabbawala concept is a frugal innovation. And uh, look at the mobile phones is also a frugal innovation which has come. And uh, you can see uh, this one is also a frugal innovation which is done by this lady. So nano car is a frugal innovation. Nano car is a frugal innovation which was developed as against four people, a family going on a scooter. So they thought they had a they had a feeling that if a family goes in a scooter, there is always a, prob a problem of uh, of uh, safety and other things. So now what they did was they they tried to uh, they tried to look into it and then they tried to develop this car. Initially, when uh, nano car came into the market, it was set for forty thousand. Then it moved to one lakh. Now it has gone up, but still it was a frugal innovation. There are so many patents which were, which nano car got because of its frugality frugality involved in it. When you look at a frugal graph with respect to performance and cost, this is the, where the performance is very low, the cost is very less. These are cheap products, right? When the when the performance is extremely good, the cost is very high. These are all standard products. But what truly we want is we want to have a lower cost and higher performance, frugal products. Frugal is not cheap. Frugal engineering solution is not cheap with respect to performance when compared with a standard one. So it is not cheap performance wise. It is at par with standard and uh, it, uh, the cost wise it has come down. So this is a Miti Cool, a project which is uh, developed by a Desi guy and uh, here in which it also acts on frugal innovation. So this is a device which is developed. Uh, so here, this is a de device which is developed. So you have a, a frugal innovation there. So you have a charge a charger which is attached to a solar panel and a solar panel, a charger is attached and then this uh, charger is in turn attached to a cell phone and you can get it charged here. So this is a frugal innovation. And if you look at it here, uh, nano car is a frugal innovation. Trying to have a moving in incubator. This is a moving incubator which is attached. This is a so social, this is a frugal innovation. People talking on phone is a frugal innovation. Trying to produce uh, limbs, Jaipur foods is a frugal innovation. Try to construct a bathroom uh, is again, this is a frugal innovation from old sticks. Trying to uh, have a solar uh, panel assisted or solar assisted uh, uh, rickshaw, e-rickshaw is a frugal innovation. So Aravind High Hospital here is also a frugal innovation. So here what they do is they try to do eye operations in a very, very economical manner. And what they do is they try to do it in a mass production scale. So they do cataract operation. So they're very, very economical. So what they do is they try to, uh, they try to line up the patients uh, and they used to clean up the patients, keep those patients ready for the doctor to come and do the operation. The doctor does operation one patient after the other, after the other, he or she keeps going. Uh, he does the basic operation and the rest of the paramedic takes care of doing all the primitive and the post care operations with the patient. So here in which the doctor's time is very efficiently used. Within an hour, the doctor is able to do 10 operations and uh, almost all the cases, what he does is a repeat of the similar cases. So he does it at his highest efficiency and uh, at a very minimal cost. The ampule medicine, which is also broken, the veil which is broken or which they break it for giving injection, that also they try to optimize it. 
they try to take five it's like our uh, uh, covid covid vaccination injection one way you break they have to inject 10 people so what they do is they wait until 10 people come they break it and they give injections to all almost in the same way here also medicines which are very costly they try to break the ampule and try to share it among patients such that the frugality is brought in and it is very very economical to do the operations so mitty cool is uh, is a product which is developed by this gentleman and uh, he is from he is manish and he is from gujarat so what he did was he used uh, all the pottery items and uh, with with pottery uh, with pottery or crockery items he developed this uh, mitty cool and this mitty cool try to extend the live uh, the uh, the uh, the storage life storage uh, storage life of these vegetables by a considerably a big amount of time so this was a big breakthrough which was done so that people who are who are below the poverty line or um, below uh, or bottom of the pyramid these people could afford and buy it so that the longevity could be expanded again this is talking about a drip irrigation which is done uh, in the african countries here is a filter which is developed by this gentleman water filter wherein which he developed it like this so the water undergoes several stage filtration and then finally you get a clean drinking water so this is a chutti cool chutti cool is a refrigerator a refrigerator which is uh, wherein which it can be used to store uh, and keep items frugal innovation or frugal engineering is a process of reducing complexity and cost of goods and its production usually it refers to the removal of non essential features uh, from the durable uh, goods so nano also happened like this nano what happened they did was they tried to have multi functional integrator into one product so several of the products were reduced and uh, this was very good for the law, uh, for the for reducing the cost of these products so it had a huge sale and it was a huge hit it is frugal innovation look at the frugal innovation the uh, the pet, the bike tire is attached to a motor and this drives the motor and then you can you can start irrigating the field this is frugal innovation frugal innovation is the next step of jugard jugard is doing something trying to solve the problem in a temporary manner and uh, where which it so, uh, temporary manner and many a times the, the solution need not or could not be repeated so that is also there look at it this is a plow which was developed by a team of iit delhi faculty members so here in which they have uh, they have attached the the plowing unit uh, with a tricycle and a uh, tricycle and the, and the, and his daughter stands on top of it the weight is applied the pressure is done and then the plowing action happens so this is a frugal innovation which he uses the same vehicle what he used for commute or also for agriculture in uh, facility so this is a frugal innovation what is there look at this wonderful thing here is a biker a bike a pulsar bike which got integrated to a rickshaw and uh, he tries to move tanks in it so this is a frugal innovation so it is not jugaad it is a frugal innovation so with minimum so he he has tried to best utilize the bike and it, he has also tried to have uh, the rickshaw attached to it so that he can start moving or commuting uh, heavy items uh, in a in a quicker manner when you start going on a bike the power is there so power allows you to reach the destination faster so this is a very very uh, frugal approach of doing it i saw this vehicle at agra this is a frugal innovation which japanese follow which is called as chindoku so here here in which during the time of rainy season uh, the person uses a umbrella in a inverted manner so the water gets accumulated here the accumulated water is moved down through the stick and it is connected to the tube and that tube is connected to a uh, to a container which is held as a bag and this bag is held as in the sling bag so it is done so the water gets accumulated so whatever water gets accumulated it is it leads you to saving uh, it leads you to uh, water saving so the next one is we have used several times a fevicol stick we have used several times lipsticks but why don't we start developing something like a butter stick so this butter stick allows you to smear on top of the bread so you can do it in a very very rationalized manner so you get the best cost out of it so this is uh, this is chindo which is used and this is a frugal innovation which is done the next one is when you try to buy a new when you try to buy brushes 
the toothbrush. Toothbrush, the most important functionality of the toothbrush comes from the bristles. Rest of the portion does not play any role apart from holding it. So this bristles, uh, the bristles have to be replaced and rechanged. When, uh, and now what we do is we throw the entire brush uh, for it. So if I can integrate the bristles to a, uh, to a cover, and this cover is, uh, is reusable. So if you want, you keep attach these bristles here and you brush it. If you don't want, remove the bristles and you can use this cover along with the cover which is put on the finger for, uh, for uh, cleaning your bow. So this is a, uh, this is a innovative. So this is an innovative product which is used. So the next one is uh, these Japanese, when they start eating this uh, uh, Japanese uh, um, noodles, they always eat it extremely hot. They eat it hot and it is very fast they eat. So uh, in order to give them a proper ambience, what they do is a fan is attached to it. So the fan is of lightweight, which is attached to the chopsticks and uh, they try to dry it. It might look a silly, crazy idea, but this is a frugal innovation which is very much appreciated in Japan. So here is uh, a Pakistani who has uh, developed uh, one home for every Pakistani, which is done by Malik Rayas, uh, who is the CEO of this company. He constructed a house within three. Uh, constructed a house with uh, the cost of the house will be only three months of the salary, whatever a normal man gets. So it's a very very cost effective house. The, the land space is optimized. You can see all these things inside the house. Of course, these beds and all will not be there. He will give you only the shell. So this is how is the house and uh, he constructed it. Recently, IIT Madras has come up with a good uh, idea. So the entire house is getting 3D printed. That is also a frugal innovation. So when we talk about frugal innovation and value chain, uh, the resource scarcity, the capital, skill and labor, uh, this will be upstream input. Then uh, the resource scarcity downstream output is going to be customer with low affordability. So this will be the resource of the downstream. So this is upstream and this is downstream. When the institutional gap is going to be co the contracts, rules, trust, and leg uh, legitimacy. And when we talk about institutional gaps downstream, it's going to be distribution and supply chain for access. So these are the frugal innovation value chain you should also look at the upstream and downstream such that you try to get the best frugal innovation out of it. Going frugal means choice to make. More is better. From there, you have to get converted into more with less. You are looking for cost. No, when you start looking for frugal, you will look for quality. And when you look for, uh, many people look for constraints, but when you look in frugal, you look for slack. When, uh, when we look at uh, frugal, we always look at localization. But what frugal means is towards globalization. When we try to do a normal product, we always try to have institutional gaps. When you try to have a frugal product, we will always have institutional complexity. When we have a, a, the other thing is sustainability, we will look for. When we try to develop a frugal one, we always look for a scale. Uh, we, we, will frugal, uh, the, uh, we will always look for adaptability, but from there, we will try to move to efficient. We will try to have maximum profit, but in frugal, we should have social impact. So from more is better, we go to more is less. From cost, we move to quality. Constraints, we move to slack. Go lo localization, we move to globalization. We institutional gap, we go to institutional complexity sustainability to scalability that means to say you can produce more and more and more affordability adaptability to efficiency if the efficient profit maximization to social impact so all these things are choice what we make for frugal what is essential that is what you have to see what is essential in frugal innovation is going to be use of common sense look at this bird drinking water it does not have a straw it drinks from the pipe and pipe also from a leaking pipe. You look at it, how beautifully it takes. If it directly keeps its mouth around, it gets choked. So it puts his beak here and it tries to take water and it swings his head 
when he tries to swing his head he he tries to make sure that excess water is removed and he could gulp what he wants so what is the most essential quality for frugal innovation is always going to be use of common sense you should be able to identify a problem and start working on the problem where it starts frugal engineering it all starts at the open mind use your mind for the god has gifted unique to human one is humor appropriate appreciation of beauty awareness of death understanding time meaning of life desire to worship and creativity all these things are given to human alone and no other people have it so use your beautiful brain which can bring in humor which can appreciate beauty which is awareness of death which is uh, which can understand time which is time management which uh, leads to meaning of life and then desire to workshop uh, and uh, worship and creativity so if you see creativity is one thing which human only has it so how to reach fugal so the first thing is accept that you you can be creative then only you can start becoming frugal question traditional assumption why is this happening why should it not happen i am not asking uh, ask uh, question tradition and throw tradition no ask questions on tradition and try to find out is there is any science behind the tradition if there is a science behind the tradition appreciate that science and try to go around developing a frugal product for it so that is what is reach uh, how to reach frugal so the next one is try to develop a skill which can improve your problem solving you have to first identify a problem and then you have to have a passion towards problem solving then you become creative so that you can look for frugal solutions employ creative te creativity techniques there are so many techniques tools which are available today start using them to enhance your creativity then practice thinking in new ways practice thinking uh, in new ways don't try to stop yourself okay saying that people might think that you are bad i am bad he will question me he will do this she will do this stop all asking questions try to think um, and try to think of a solution in a very very practical manner and in a new way and search for always alternative solutions so these things will lead you to be frugal accept that you can be creative first you should have it i should win i will be creative i can solve this problem i have the solution to this problem have trust in you that's what it is accept that you can be creative then question the traditional assumptions improve your problem solving skills employ creativity techniques practice things in a very new way and search for alternative solutions this is how you reach to frugal so ask yourself get curious not furious so this is one thing which you should always keep in mind ask yourself get curious ask many questions so when you ask many questions you become very curious and never be furious that means to say if somebody asks somebody questions you somebody corners you never get furious if you get furious you are out of frugal innovation you have to be always curious when you are born in this world you will always be curious to explore many many things as and when you grow up you become furious but later you will realize that life goes only by curiosity and not by furiosity right ask yourself what else can this mean how might this be a good thing in discuss so this is something which is very very important believe in yourself keep patience do not give up if you have these three things you are going to win you will see success believe in yourself that's what i'm repeatedly saying believe in yourself accept that you can be creative believe in yourself keep patience don't try to kill uh, the golden hen laying egg don't try to beat time don't try to cheat market don't try to do anything which is not professional keep patience look forward you will develop something so then do do not give up do not give up
do not give up whatever you start have a passion fight till the last maybe you might lose at last but till that time you try fighting and at the last you try to give it up but don't give it up at the first go itself avoid actions without see avoid actions without vision don't take decisions at the upfront don't be indecisive don't be paralyzed don't be stalling don't don't procrastinate aaj kal aaj aaj nahi karenge to kal karenge kal nahi to parso karenge narso karenge nahi hoga bhai sahab jo aaj ka kaam hai khatam karo aaj hi khatam karo so that you do it fine and you you make things go very well so explore your surrounding that's where you look for problems learn from children they are the biggest explorer learn from children they do many things without fear they talk many things without fear they might ask you questions which you might feel so stupid but that stupid question will give you a lead for a big solution for uh, to solve and you can develop a wonderful product so explore your sur- surrounding so this is what i said here also look at it try to identify problems then only you can solve problems right so try to look at children the children learn from children they have the highest exploring capabilities they do anything and everything without any fear they even uh, every day they have it with fun so learn from children they are the biggest explorer so they will teach you many things when you try to compare a conventional product or a service uh, with so conventional product or a service with frugal you see the sust- substantial cost reduction so here it is 100% cost when you do frugal innovation it is cost uh, cutting will go by 3% will lead to 66% so you it comes here so you do the cost cutting cost reduction by 3% or whatever it is it comes here concentrate on core functionality so in tradition you will have overall function then you will have major functions then you will have minor functions so in frugal what happens is you will always have frugal innovation and then core function so unnecessary and undesirable functions are completely removed if you look at uh, the, the optimization performance levels product service performance you will have durability you will have speed power all these things are there so if you see the conventional product it it is like this right when uh, the other one what is realized level will be somewhere it is like this so the level of the fact required is this for which you develop a product like this in the conventional way in the frugal way what happens is you see durability speed power what you need and what you develop is almost the same so related to performance you can see prestige satisfactory and acceptance this is what is required by the customer and what you gave was this big but in frugal it matches very close by so when we talk about frugal we are always talking to the bottom of the pyramid so what is the bottom of the pyramid is 1 billion people are having less than 1 dollar a day earnings so 5 trillion below the bottom of the pyramid is 5 trillion worth people uh, 5 trillion worth of purchasing power is still with them they can buy so you see here here it is humanitarian but 3 billion people have 1 to 8 8 dollars per day so 5 5 uh, uh, this 5 trillion people are there in this zone who are fairly rural who are under served informal uh, the employment ineffective and and little competition so they are all there so they if you could develop a product for them so then also you are hitting at top you will make a huge money there is uh, the product when you try to pitch you have to decide whether to pitch for 60 dollars a day worth people or whether to go for 5 dollar worth 5 uh, 5 uh, trillion people a dollar we should be go here so if you go here money sale but the cost has to be marginal when you go here you can have a huge costing but the sale will be very less so you decide where you go frugal always falls here so if you top of the pyramid is rich man top of the pyramid untapped segment very few competitors middle, middle of the pyramid is middle class middle of the pyramid is highly target segment overcrowded very high uh, competition there when you look at bottom more than 60% of the population untapped easy to approach very low competition is there at this point 
uh, bottom of the pyramid. And here, products which get developed are focused towards frugal innovation. So frugal innovation, novel solutions which are done, I have told it, Nova, novelty technique is middle to high. Uh, novelty of the solution is technical, is middle to high. Market is middle to high. Chutti cool, that was mitti cool and this is chutti cool, is a frugal innovation of a refrigerator which is made. Low cost innovation is people using uh, mobile phones. Now mobile phones have replaced many things. Mobile phones have become very economical. Uh, at one point of time, BSNL had a, have a policy of one rupee, one paisa. So that is all frugal innovation. When we talk about reverse innovation, we talk about technique low to medium, and we also look at market low to medium. So this is also a frugal innovation. So when we look at barriers of, uh, uh, of bottom of the permit, it's highly distribution of uh, cost due to poor infrastructure, it is there. So the barriers of uh, bottom of the permit market for an agricultural product is going to be scattered village. So service cost is very high for the durables. Uh, difficult to penetrate plus five, it is all remote villages. The small scale growers are decentralized. Uncertainty cash flow. So bottom of the permit cannot pay upfront money. Lack of knowledge and local trust. Mismatched priorities. And then local knowledge and trust, large margin and high volume difficulty to achieve. So these are all the barriers which are there at uh, bottom of the permit only if you take agricultural products. I just gave you an example. So innovation, I already talked about innovation. The study of innovation has been the subject to various para paradigmatic shift uh, in the recent decade. Frugal innovation is the, is the transition between the paradigm. So profit drive to social, innovation comes frugal and goes to the open to close market. So innovation of Jugaad, you should know where does Jugaad come? Jugaad falls in between, frugal is one side, flexible is on the other side, inclusive is on the third side. We are looking at frugal. So to summarize, a true comparison between different innovation strategies can be derived from the consumer affected by that innovation. Frugal innovation adds to the value of the product functionality. Reverse innovation takes benefit of frugal solution development for less resourceful market, and hence an obvious candidate for substantial, uh, subst sustainable uh, innovation. So what is reverse innovation is you take a product, uh, do reverse engineering of the product, understand what is missing in the product, try to customize it to the local requirement and release that to the market. So that is the reverse innovation, which is there. So do not stop anywhere, keep thinking, keep moving. So with that, thank you once again for the opportunity given. Now I am open for questions, please. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, participants, now you can ask your questions. I think a uh, uh, few questions have been posted in chat box, sir. Yes, Dr. Vineet, I'm allowing you. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I was on mute. Sorry, the first question is uh, the 3D printing uh, is an eco-friendly, uh, no, no, edible spoon and plates can be considered as sustainable eco-friendly products considered as frugal. Yes, yes, edible cutlery, yes. Yes, I agree with you. These are frugal innovations. Okay, next. Will 3D printing house be eco-friendly? Yes. 3D printing house, they try to reduce the brick consumption. They try to reduce the cement consumption. They try to develop a eco-friendly cement and it uh, does the construction within 24 hours, 48 hours, within 96 hours, they do the construction. Look at the amount of time and money which is involved in converting uh, a, a, a flat plate into a house. So it is a frugal innovation. Next, uh, excellent philosophical, excellent philosophical motivational quotes. Okay, thank you so much. Then it is electric solar aeroplane. Electric solar aeroplane is possible, sir. Electric solar, solar drones are possible. 
So people have started making solar drones, wherein which it has power to run during the daytime and during nighttime, it tries to, uh, whatever it stores energy in the solar daytime, it is used in the nighttime. So 24 hours, these solar drones are, are made it uh, made to fly to have sur for surveillance purpose and also to monitor the, the agricultural output. Okay. So next one is eco-friendly cements. Yeah, it is available. Uh, now, uh, because what is happening when you try to collapse a house or try to collapse a structure, it has a lot of debris and all these debris are very difficult to be um, uh, dispersed. So what people have started doing is they have started making eco-friendly cements, eco-friendly constructions, not cement, but eco-friendly constructions. So where in which the, the, the consumption of cements is reduced in a big way. So is the umbrella innovation really useful? Um, yes and no. So that is a frugal, frugal approach. See, when you start developing n number of solutions, maybe one or two solutions get clicked. So in that way, umbrella solution is not practicable, but it tries to give you a lead for saving and storing water. Um, okay, the forms are available. Yes. So now I would like to take the hands raised questions. So I saw a hand raised uh, by who? Dr. Vineet, I have enabled your mic. You can please unmute. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I'm Dr. Yeah. Vinay. Uh, yeah, firstly, uh, firstly, I would like to tell you that uh, our presentation was uh, really wonderful and uh, it was uh, very meaningful. Uh, basically, I wish to ask a question that uh, uh, nowadays we are uh, in an economy where we are providing almost uh, all kind of solutions. It's like a, a customer is looking for solutions. Right. So in this situation, how bare bone uh, uh, product uh, will be able to sustain into that market? Yes, uh, your answer, potential answer is uh, expected to be like a proper segmentation of a market. And as you have rightly, rightly told that the BOP market is uh, 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 being targeted by uh, bare bone uh, products, uh, that is obvious. But uh, uh, again, it's really difficult to find and uh, di difficult to reach this market. So uh, uh, what is the possible solution for this? Sir, Thanks. any product you develop, any product you develop, what you are talking about is, I have developed a product, now I will look for a customer. See, in innovation, there is something called as pull innovation, there is something called as push innovation. Pull innovation means the requirement comes from the customer. You develop a product for that requirement so that the customer accepts it straightforward. The other one is push innovation. Push innovation is you have developed a product, now you are getting trying to seep into the market and then trying to sell. That is called as push innovation. Push innovation predominantly will be very successful for market giants. Did you ever ask six cameras in a mobile phone? Did you ever ask uh, so many apps to be loaded in your mobile phone? Did you ever ask all the health monitoring things to be added into your mobile phone? You never. But the big giants had the make and the capability and they pushed it into the market and we are buying it. So if you are looking for uh, the bottom of the permit, BOP, you should always have a pull innovation. You should identify what they want and you develop it. For example, if you try to develop samosas, developing 100 samosas and keeping at the morning shift and trying to sell it up all through the day is always at the fake end is going to be distress sale. But look at, uh, look at the full market like Domino's Pizza. He says that, boss, up order karo, 30 minute mein aake denge. Zomata, Sugi, Ola, Uber, all these fellows, they say, boss, up bulao hum aayenge. So this is pull innovation. So you should always look at pull innovation rather than push innovation. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any other questions, Dr. Saswat? Sir, I think uh, there is one more question in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Done, done, done. There are, I think, four questions more. Uh, what is inclusive design? Inclusive design is giving a space to everybody. It can be rich, poor, or it can be blind, it can be healthy, everything. For a child, for an old man, that is inclusive design. You have a space for everybody. You develop a product that anybody and everybody can use. 
apart from frugal design yeah that's what is inclusive inclusive is giving a space to everybody right uh, very good session thank you so much thank you so much sneha uh, then uh, anybody else oh okay there is no other questions yes sir so if if there are any other questions i will post directly to you sir yeah yeah so i will give a minute if there are any more questions audience you can post me thank you very much you have been so kind and very uh, very um, proactive in asking questions thank you so much i would like to thank the organizers also yes so sir. you have made the audience very motivated so they have been asking good questions okay prachi you have a question can we can we make electric energy for can we make electric energy from gas yes it is run yeah it is possible so you you try to use gas try to heat water it generates into steam that steam rotates a turbine turbine you store it as a generator or whatever it is you try to store it innovation to minimize petrol uh yeah it is going on yes it is going on on and on but still see we have all become so much of addict we have all started craving for petrol for example today the petrol price has gone to 100 and 105 rupees or 110 rupees how many of you have stopped using your bikes car now what has happened is you have started putting your comfort your enjoyment your time ahead of it rather than looking at cost so petrol minimization yes it has to happen it will happen forcibly government will do and in government is also forcibly implementing environmental pollution norms so petrol cars will slowly slowly have their way out the ic engine whatever we teach the carnot cycle whatever we teach will be thrown out because now electric cars are coming into existence okay can we make electric energy from waste yes again waste you try to burn the waste try to collect the heat use it for something can we produce uh, we are producing in everyday life uh, yeah for example uh, cow dung which is produced which can be done okay i don't know prachi you ask questions i have been countering you but yes whatever you ask it can be done can you please suggest some literature to boss literature research mein innovation nahi hota yaar up you have to it, it is like sir please tell me a book how do i learn swimming forget it you jump into the pond you will learn you will struggle you will learn and that that's how you become very successful uh, how will i check that i uh, i uh, how will i no, no hold on i will how will i check uh, how will i check that i solution my solution of the problem that i am providing uh, will hit a big market बस ऐसे नहीं होता यार बच्चे पैदा होना है उसके बाद नाम दे सकते हैं बच्चे पैदा होने के बाद ही आप बोल सकते हैं बच्चे विल बिकम राम और लक्ष्मण और और रावण सो सिंपली हैविंग विद योर सेल्फ नथिंग विल हैपन यू हैव टू मेक अ प्रोडक्ट गो टू द मार्केट थ्रो द प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट इट विल ट्राई टू मूव एंड देन यू विल सी हाउ इज इट हाउ डू यू प्री इवेल्युएट माय सॉल्यूशन बिफोर लॉन्चिंग इट टू द मार्केट सो व्हाट डू यू डू इज आफ्टर यू डेवलप योर प्रोडक्ट यू शुड नॉट गो एंड आस्क योर फ्रेंड मदर फादर फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स नो throw them all in the dustbin take your product go to a common man who does not know you i will tell you my own bitter experience i was trying to help my friend uh, in getting admission for polytechnics in my in my own state tamil nadu uh, by then when i uh, he called me he said he's a good friend of mine my 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 chaddi dost my school hold uh, friends and even now we go there we say, we have lot of chat and uh, his qualification is only 12th standard but he's a good friend of mine he started a polytechnic i said okay boss i will help you out so he said ram today aaja let's start distributing the pamphlet in front of a public school so that we will attract the students for our uh, this thing i said fine i by then boss by then i was a full professor at iit kanpur i was a full professor at iit kanpur i was teaching innovation and and entrepreneurship for mba students and iit kanpur students i went and stood in front of the crowd and i start distributing the pamphlets and the questions which were asked by the students who are who have just passed 10th who are who are been uh, who are seeking admission in college, in polytechnic the amount of questions they asked fabulous you can't even judge you can't even imagine such amount of questions were asked the questions many questions i was spell bound i did not have an answer to say to 11th standard or 10th pass 11th entry boy 
So when I went there and I stood in front of them without introducing myself, I realized that what I am today is nothing in front of a customer who is just 10th pass. Okay, so you have to throw the solution in front of people whom they don't know you. After one year, I went to the same school as a chief guest. So that day, people said, oh, whatever you gave is fabulous. But one year before, when I started giving the notice, I could not convince even two people to come and join the college. Okay, so customers are intelligent, customers are brilliant, customers know what to what they want and what they don't want. So you have to develop a product such that it gets convinced without word of mouth. Try it. If you are successful, you are the great. Okay, so if there are no other questions, thank you so much thank for so giving much me for this wonderful session, and thank you to all the participants uh, attending us, being with us on this Saturday evening. Yes, so that is you. that is something great. Saturday yes. evening, second Saturday, yeah. you have so many things around happening. Yeah, so thank you so much. Now it looks like some at least fifty people who are who are very much interested in innovation. I am sure the platform which Meerut Foundation gives is wonderful. You should make use of that and then try to become great innovators. When you become an innovator, you should always be proud that you are trying to protect this country's financial downfall, which is something great. So you're all financial jawans who protect this mother India from the foreign invaders. So please become an innovator. Please be job providers rather than job seekers. Wish you all good luck. Stay safe. And uh, uh, good luck for all your future endeavor. And thank you to all the organizers who have taken a lot of pain in organizing such big events. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, participants, uh, the attendance and feedback link has been posted in the chat box. You can please fill the same. And uh, we will be posting them uh, in WhatsApp group as well. And thank you so much. Uh, next week on Friday, we will meet again with another exciting sessions. Thank you so much.